a painting in an art gallery has height h and is hung so its lower edge is a distance d above the eye of an observer. How far from the wall should the observer stand to get the best view? Okay, as usual, let's label some angles. Let this angle be theta, let this angle be alpha, and let this distance be x. So x from here to here, great. Now let's state clearly the goal. The goal is maximizing, maximizing, data, right? That way we get the best view. That is equivalent, equivalent to maximizing tangent of data, tangent of data, right? Why is that, Professor? Well, because if you look at the graph of the function tangent of data, notice for theta values between zero and pi over two, this function is strictly increasing. This means that tangent of theta and theta grow together. So maximizing theta equivalent to maximizing tangent of theta. Great. So I'm gonna start by writing here tangent of alpha plus theta from the figure that is clearly h plus d over x, right? From trigonometry, this is equal to tangent of alpha plus tangent of theta over one minus tangent of alpha times tangent of theta, right? D over x here. From the figure again, tangent of alpha d over x. So d over x plus tangent of theta over one minus d over x times tangent of theta should be equal to h plus d over x. Now, if you isolate tangent of theta from this equation by cross multiplying and stuff, you are gonna get the following. Tangent of theta equal x times h over x squared plus dh plus d squared. Great. Now, I'm gonna maximize tangent of theta. In turn, that will maximize theta, right? By taking the derivative of this function, setting that equal to zero, solving for x. That way I will get my critical value, right? For that, I'm gonna use the quotient rule, okay? Quotient rule says that the derivative of f over g is f prime g minus g prime f over g squared, right? So the derivative of f is just h, times g minus, minus derivative of g, that's twice x times f, xh, all over, all over g squared, right? Squared, that should be said equal to zero, we should solve for x. Now this guy here is dividing, on the left side goes to the other side multiplying, right? Or equivalent to multiplying both sides by this amount. We can get rid of this here is zero, right? So we focus on this, hx squared plus dh squared plus hd squared minus two x squared h equal zero. Great, now simplifying this, we should end up with hx squared equal dh squared plus hd squared, right? Dividing both sides by h, we should get that x squared equal dh plus d squared. Factoring and taking a square root, x equal a square root of d times d plus h. Great. This is the critical number and it should maximize tangent of theta and that in turn should maximize theta, right? Great. But now you may say, Professor, how could you be sure that this is actually 
associated with a maximum value and not with a minimum value? Well, if you think of the graph of the angle theta base or in terms of X, notice if you are very close to the wall, the value of theta should be very small, right? Very small. And then as you go away from the wall, the value of theta increases until you get the perfect spot, the best view, right? And then if you continue walking away from the wall, you are gonna decrease the amount of theta, right? So definitely the X value that we found here should be associated with the maximum value of theta. Conclusion, if you're standing a square root of D times D plus H units from the wall, you will get the best view of the painting. I hope this helped you. If you liked it, please subscribe. More videos coming up. Thank you.